Search teams in Nepal now looking over the data found in the black boxes recovered from the country's deadliest commercial airline crash in 30 years. They hope the information contained in the flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder will reveal what caused the death of 72 people on Sunday. ABC's M. Wynn joining us now live from Washington, D.C. with more. M. Yeah, David, the flight data recorder that was recovered should provide investigators with information that may help them get a better idea of what caused that plane to go down. It was less than a mile from the airport when it crashed. Authorities in Nepal say they've recovered both black boxes from the deadly Yeti Airlines plane crash and that they're in good condition. Investigators hoping the flight data and cockpit voice recorders can provide vital clues into what caused this passenger jet to go down. The police, the armed police, the military, and the red forces and all the agencies are involving in rescue and search operation. This video showing the plane heading to the popular tourist town of Pokhara, taking a sharp left turn before crashing into a gorge. 68 of the 72 people on board killed on what was supposed to be a short 25-minute flight. Officials telling ABC News they've given up hope of finding the other four alive. Unfortunately, the terrain is very difficult and it's very difficult to get all those dead bodies out from the crash sites and crash areas. Among the recovered bodies, most were Nepalese. 15 were foreign nationals, including passengers from India, Russia, and South Korea. Four crew members were also on board. At the hospital, family and friends of the victims, grieving and growing more frustrated, waiting to bury their loved ones. What may be a factor here is the high altitude and airspeed control, but it's really too early to say at this point. Nepal, home to eight of the world's 14 highest mountains with a history of air crashes. Some aviation experts pointing to how Nepalese airlines are banned from flying in the EU due to their low aviation standards. Nepalese airlines have a very poor safety record. And here you have a flight on a perfectly clear day on final approach that for some reason seems to have stalled, flipped over on its back and impacted the ground. Today, Yeti Airlines grounded all scheduled flights in mourning for the passengers who lost their lives. In Washington, M. Wynn, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. David. Thank you, M. Still ahead, and I would.